my goodness look at all that amazing cheese to make these pizza cups we're going to start by cutting our tortillas halfway through then we're going to fold them just like this to create the cup and we're going to put them right into a muffin tray now that we have all of these in here we're going to go ahead and grab some pepperoni so we're going to go ahead and load these pizza cups up with our pepperoni so go ahead and just add a good amount of pepperoni all along the sides just like this Perfect. Let it go all the way around there. Amazing. And we're going to do this to all of our pizza cups. Now, if you're not a big fan of pepperoni, that's totally okay. Feel free to use sausage. Feel free, feel free to use pineapples. You know, whatever you want, whatever you normally eat on your pizza, just throw it right in here, guys. That's the beauty of these pizza cups. You can just throw whatever you want in here and chances are you're probably gonna like it because it has all those ingredients that are on your amazing pizzas, right? Right. Alrighty, so we're gonna keep on loading these up. Now something that I like to do, I like to grab a lot of my ingredients straight from Costco or Sam's Club. I buy them in bulk because I just go through so much ingredients every week cooking. So. I just buy a lot at one time and it's really helpful you know if you have kids if you know you just have a large family you have friends coming over or you just cook a lot then i definitely would buy in bulk and it just makes it so easy you know if you get hungry someone gets hungry you just have so many options of stuff you can cook at home which is always nice right i definitely try to avoid going out to eat all the time now because of all these amazing recipes. Alrighty, we're almost done filling these up with our pepperoni. Perfect. I'm gonna add one more pepperoni there. Awesome. So now we have our pepperoni in there. We're gonna go ahead and grab some mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and load these up with cheese. So go ahead, load them all up just like that. You wanna kind of get it to the very top where it's just completely covering your pepperoni practically because when we do bake this keep in mind that the cheese is gonna get gooey and kind of um, deflate you know kind of just go a little down so we want to just pack it with this mozzarella cheese there we go if you're not a huge fan of the cheese that's okay you can go ahead and do the light cheese though all right now we have all these filled with our cheese we're gonna grab a little bit of our minced garlic and we're just gonna get one spoonful and we're gonna kind of throw it right over everything there we go a little goes a long way so i just put a little tiny bit right on top of all of this there we go amazing so go ahead and leave that to the side we're gonna now get some parmigiano reggiano this is a nice, strong, funky cheese that I always like to add to the top as well because it just enhances the flavor. There we go, perfect. Now we're gonna start seasoning. We're gonna grab some basil and we're gonna sprinkle basil all over this. There we go. It adds a beautiful green color, which is amazing. And then of course, we gotta get some red chili flakes. So go ahead, grab these red chili flakes and we're gonna throw them all over. Now this adds a kick, so if you're not a huge fan of spicy, you know, don't add this much, but I love spicy. And it also adds a beautiful color as well, which I always love. Perfect. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and toss these into the oven. Okay guys, we're gonna throw these into the oven. We're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. These are all ready to go, guys. Okay, we're gonna take these out, look at how crispy and golden they look, we're gonna top them. These are all ready to go guys, but we're gonna go ahead and top them with some Parmesan cheese. There we go. Perfect, and we're gonna go ahead and plate them now. These are all ready to go guys. Look at how amazing they look. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what one looks like in the inside. We go ahead and break it. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at all that amazing cheese. And you guys can go ahead and dip it in marinara. Enjoy.